Greetings to everyone watching this video. Today, I'd like to debunk some of your biases about battery recovery with MBRT. Some of you think that it doesn't make sense or can be dangerous, and in part it really is. But let's pay attention to the details. Let's see what the battery assembly in the laptop consists of. These are two or three cells that form an electrical circuit with the necessary voltage and current that the assembly can provide for a certain period of time for the operation of your laptop and a printed circuit board that contains the charge controller and auxiliary components. MBRT works with a charge controller itself. What functions does this chip perform? If we look at the data sheet of the controller on the manufacturer's website, we will see that this micro circuit controls dozens of parameters of the battery assembly, which can all be characterized by one word, safety. We all know that if certain conditions are violated, batteries can be dangerous, and this chip monitors their compliance. Under certain conditions, it can even blow a physical fuse to prevent further damage and a situation from getting out of control. Using such basic electrical parameters as charge or discharge voltage, charge or discharge current, as well as measurements data of the internal resistance and temperature of the cells, this small chip allows you to charge the battery correctly and monitors its health throughout its life. Now let's move from theory to practice. The battery controller has such a thing as a permanent failure PF flag. Having set this flag once, the controller considers that this battery can no longer be used. But do experienced engineers think same? In fact, these errors are not always permanent. Let's consider such a case. The laptop has been lying for a long time on the store shelf or in your closet. Lithium-ion batteries, like any other type of chemistry, are characterized by a self-discharge phenomenon that can reach 4% per month. And suddenly, one day, the voltage on the battery drops below the threshold that the controller considers safe. The PF flag is set and a generally good laptop no longer works. But is this battery really faulty? If it is discharged to absolute zero, without a doubt. If we have more than two volts on the cell, the situation can probably be corrected, and this is where MBRT will help. In another case, a short circuit occurred on the computer motherboard. The controller detects an excess current and throws an emergency flag. This prevented severe consequences, but is the battery faulty in this case? In our opinion, it can continue to be used. Do you agree? Is it possible to restore any battery? Of course not. For example, this one, the release of gases that lead to swelling of the cell shell indicates its malfunction. And in this case, the battery controller is absolutely correct. Such batteries cannot be used. But what if you have a factory defect and only one of the three cells is defective? With a spare cell, a mini spot welder like this and MBRT, we can bring the entire assembly back to life. Let's dive into the details. What exactly does MBRT do? This small device allows you to clear the permanent failure flag in the controller and put the battery in working condition. In case of exceeding the discharge threshold, this is actually all we need to get the opportunity to charge the cells to a normal value. But these are not all the functions it can perform. Operations with the main characteristics of the battery are also available, which will allow you to diagnose its condition and in some cases, eliminate problems of a various nature. You can find out more details on the website mbrt.pro. Does MBRT disable security features in the controller? No. When we return the controller to the sealed state, it continues to perform its work, and if the problem is not eliminated, the errors will return and the protection will be activated. You are the brains of the operation. You perform repairs. You are responsible for diagnosing the problem and performing the appropriate manipulations. First of all, you should determine whether it is possible to restore this or that battery. And the controller will do all the dirty work and in case it won't let you do any nonsense. Summarizing all of the above, in our opinion, it is possible, necessary, and safe to restore battery assemblies with certain knowledge and skills. Yes, it is not always possible and MBRT is not capable of doing wonders. It is not capable of changing physics and chemistry. It is impossible to restore a completely worn out battery. But in many cases, it makes more sense to use an MBRT than to buy a new battery. Thus, you can save some money for your customers and reduce the pollution. We strongly recommend that you do some research in the internet for articles on the theory of operation of lithium-ion batteries before performing any repairs. 
Folks, always follow safety precautions, observe polarity, and let MBRT become your best friend in battery repairs.